Here we go with a quick review of Solus Linux on the Framework laptop. As you're booting up, you'll want to press F12 until you get to this boot screen. I'm using Ventoy on an external USB. Works fairly well once you disable Secure Boot. Boot up into Solus here. This is USB 3.1, so it should be fairly quick. The budgie desktop loads right away. Looks like the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are active right from the get-go, so any hardware conflicts that you might see with older versions of Linux or older kernel versions doesn't appear to be present here, which is good. I'm gonna cut this so you don't see my Wi-Fi password. So as you can see, connected without issue, detecting all the other Wi-Fi networks in the area. If I go into Bluetooth, should see the same thing going on. It should pick up my watch, possibly my Bluetooth speaker or other items that are nearby. Fairly snappy desktop experience here. Loads quickly. I'll say I haven't used the Budgie desktop before, however, it does feel comfortable, easy to use, very similar to Windows with the way that the icons are laid out, as well as the start menu. The Windows button does work, unlike Manjaro recently. Uh, I did actually recently switch from Manjaro to Zorin for that reason. Uh, I should have another video coming out soon regarding that. But yeah, uh, I made this video for Sithi who commented on my previous review. Uh, so yeah, here's your answer. It seems to run well, no hardware issues, should be a very usable Linux desktop.